Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Firearms of America. And today we're doing another review for our section Ultimate Survival Boots. But today we have the very first hunting boot. And these ones are actually from Irish Setter. This is Irish Setter Vapor Tech. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Vapor Vapor Track. Vapor Track. <laughs> <laughs> These are the vapor track from Irish Setter. Now, if you are in a rush uh, and don't have time to watch the whole review, let me tell you, great boots, buy them. Uh, I am actually very fond of the company who uh, makes these boots and Irish Setter is just a part of their series, but the company who makes them is actually Red Wing Shoes. And I did have, uh, I do have actually a personal story about having Red Wing boots. I had the work boots from them. Uh, I had them for about two years, okay? Two years, obviously the warranty was already gone and everything. Uh, I only wore them about three or four times. And the last time I wore them, it was a wet situation and they were actually leaking. They were supposed to be waterproof, but water somehow got in. So I contacted Red Wing Shoes and they offered me, it was out of warranty but they offered me nevertheless to replace them and whenever i didn't actually find whatever i wanted they actually refunded me the full amount that i spent on buying the boots which is pretty crazy that just shows how much the company really cares so red wing definitely a great company okay so this is the irish setter from red wing uh vapor track as like i said this is this ultimate survival boot review and basically what we're doing is we're going to be judging it on different eight different uh criteria so the very first one is going to be walking running length comfort the second one is going to be stuff proof how many different things this boot is proof number three is quality number four is sole grip slip resistance uh the next one is going to be temperature number six is going to be longevity how long they will last you Number seven is balance of application because it's survival boot. So, you know, different applications and survival. And of course, the price. Number eight is going to be the price. All right. So let's start from the very first one. Comfort of, you know, wearing them, running in them, walking in them, and just wearing them for extended periods of time. Now, the test that I've done for this boost is a three mile run and a five mile walk. Let me tell you, they are very comfortable. Surprisingly, they are pretty light. For their size because you know they're eight inch so of course they're going to be heavier than anything standard they have extra protection here in the toe they have extra protection here on the side of your foot and they have some extra ankle protection which we're going to talk about a little bit later which is pretty amazing it's reinforced here so your ankle here is protected heel and ankle are protected nicely pretty amazing but nevertheless with all that extra protection and that extra size they are pretty light and it was pretty comfortable to run in them. Now the, uh, the sole is pretty flexible, so it wasn't, you know, that bad to run in them compared to some even hiking boots that I did reviews on. The sole was pretty stiff and you know, whenever the sole is stiff, it becomes harder to run correctly. So you have all of this different, uh, unnecessary stress going on your ankle, going in, into your knees. And obviously that's not good. Uh, wearing them for a long time, I was probably wearing them for about five hours straight and I didn't get tired of them. Pretty amazing. They did a great job whenever it comes to the comfort. Number two, stuff proof. Now, these ones are waterproof. In fact, they're ultra dry, which means they have that extra protection for, uh, you know, if you, if you see there is a barrier here um, that is well above your ankle size, which is obviously good. You know, <laughs> you get that extra space here with all of this extra ankle uh, protection, which you don't get in a lot of boots, obviously, especially, you know, the six inch boots come. That's the main difference between the six inch and the eight, eight inch height boots. Uh, honestly, uh, my preference goes to the eight all the time because it's, you know, extra is good. A little bit of extra weight, but it's, it's, it's really, it's definitely worth it. Okay, so uh, the next one is gonna be the quality. Now, if you see the reviews, I have attached the Amazon link in the description below. If you, know, if you wanna check out the reviews, you will see people talking about the quality and how these boots last for a very long time. 
and they they do indeed feel very very nicely built you know there are no you know messed up shims or anything like that uh, it's just you know the quality looks amazing and like i said this is this is red wing shoes all of their boots you know are, are, are very very good quality build I, I have never seen any complaints about them uh you know people talking about stuff falling apart or anything like that okay number four is the sole grip slip resistance now the sole here is pretty cool i would say it is not very universal it's not very versatile you know it, it has this specific application and application here is for you know stuff that you would encounter during hunting and that would be you know wet grass stuff like leaves and you know basically your regular forest surface and i wish it was a little bit more versatile i wish some of the grooves were more aggressive uh, so that you can apply them on surfaces like uh rocky road or snowy icy surfaces this might not be very good on the snow or on the ice because uh, i had boots very similar to this ones and it was pretty slippery you know you need a little bit more aggression on the sole whenever it comes to walking on icy and snowy surfaces uh but like i said on wet grass on mud this this sole would do really good again i can't be too harsh on these boots for that purpose because they are specifically for hunting so that's what they're specifically made for but because we are doing the ultimate survival boots basically the boots that you would put on the very last thing you would put on uh, before you run out of your house in cases of whatever doomsday scenario you want to come up with <laughs> okay so number five is going to be the temperature and i did the test in them in florida in 90 degrees weather and they were pretty hot <laughs> obviously this is a little bit of downside of having that eight inches of ankle uh of course you know you, you you're gonna feel hotter in this boot for sure but nevertheless um you know i i, I kind of feel that they could have made a little bit better job with the ventilation uh because i did feel overheated in this booth now this material here it is while it is really waterproof and everything but nevertheless it really doesn't uh, give you much breathability okay uh, so it would be good in colder temperatures uh, but not too fantastic whenever it comes to hot temperatures like florida you know you try to walking through you know everglades you <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely gonna get overheated <laughs> on the plus side they do have this new technology called scent band which basically protects boots from getting stinky uh, but you know you need that of course because you're gonna be sweating a lot in this boot. <laughs> so not 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 a big fan of, of of that part uh now number six is longevity uh again it's kind of like a quality uh but like like i said i didn't have them for a very long time probably about two weeks but judging by the reviews on amazon people had them for years and, and they're very very happy with them uh, this is one of the top rated boots in fact whenever it comes to hunting boots on amazon so definitely great stuff okay so number seven is probably the most important one is the balance of application specifically for survival situations you know you want to run out of your house you need something that you can walk in for a long time run in for a long time that is not too hot but also not too cold because there's going to be might be different temperatures different sole applications because there will be different surfaces and stuff like that so that's what we're going to look at here um, whenever it comes to balance with this ones again like i said i wish they did a few not obviously not the whole thing just a few aggressive grooves here and there to kind of help you in the snowy icy slippery situations uh that would be really nice and i wish they did a little bit better job with the breathability of this boot for hot temperatures like here in florida for example other than that i think they did an amazing job with the protection you will definitely be protected very very nicely in fact i kind of wonder for hunting boots why would you really need that much protection whenever it comes to the hunting boots i am not a hunter uh so if you guys can let me know in the comments below i would really appreciate it uh, but I, I think it's great 
not complaining about it <laughs> with all the protection especially especially this guard right here that they made for your heel and for your you know your back of your foot i think it's really good because this this area of the foot is is, is a very you know it, it's it's a very gentle area and, and if you damage it somehow you know if you get hit or stabbed in there or whatever of course it's going to be pretty pretty hard to walk or to run or do whatever <laughs> so it's really nice to have a protection there okay so the very last thing we come to is of course the price now the price let me tell you it's all over the place at the moment because it's you know amazon is one of the reasons uh depending on the size it can go all the way from 134 dollars to all the way to 288 dollars so it's all over the place i got lucky this one's were 134 this is size 10 uh but again if you don't see the boots at that price uh, in your size just wait because you know whenever they restock they will they will probably they will probably have them at that price again the link is in the description below you know if you're interested take a look at them uh, and if you're interested to check out the reviews so uh, let me know what you guys think what do you think about those boots as hunting boots what do you think about those boots as ultimate survival boots would you consider them honestly to me I would give these boots a solid 7 out of 10 um, just because they are not very flexible whenever it comes to the temperature and not very flexible be whenever it comes to the sole but at the same time I really do love all the protection and they are waterproof I think that's really good and they're 8 inches I think that's fantastic for ultimate survival boots uh, so if you found this review helpful please subscribe this is a still a very new channel uh, growing every day so every subscriber definitely counts thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video